the United States has a progressive, diverse, and sustainable dairy industry. And dairies around the world benefit each day from America's commitment to genetic advancement, technological development, and environmental improvement. The U.S. registered Holstein cow is built on the principles of continuous improvements. We know we have to keep making her better. Better for the environment, better for modern dairy production, and better for consumers worldwide. Holstein Association USA's long-standing commitment to information and genetic evaluation is the cornerstone to the breed's increasing relevance on the sustainability and technological fronts. We went from 25 to 9 million, but we are producing 60% more milk with this much smaller herd. That means the carbon footprint of a gallon of milk in this country has shrunk by two-thirds. This is an unprecedented impact of improved efficiencies on environmental impact. The efficiencies of livestock production in general, but particularly of the dairy sector in particular, are unprecedented across the world. There's no other place in the world that has achieved efficiencies like we have here. But the world is unaware of it. Most of this improvement is made possible by U.S. registered Holsteins. And the key to all of this improvement is Holstein Association USA's publicly accessible database, the largest available in the worldwide dairy industry. Data will be a source of competitive advantage for dairy producers. Those that are able to use data the best are going to be the ones that are the most competitive, not unlike what we see in every other part of the world. It's also going to be able to provide, I think, opportunities to provide healthier animals and to make the lives of the farmer a little bit easier. And so I think there's a whole lot of intangible benefits to this kind of information. In recent years, U.S. registered Holsteins have adopted a wealth of new management, technological, and marketing practices that reduce costs, add value across the production system, and sharpen the focus on breeding better genetics. The widespread use of robotics has improved efficiencies and reduced labor. The increasing demand for high-quality beef has created opportunities for dairies using beef bulls with specific growth and carcass traits through Holstein Association USA's Wholesome Program. The result is delicious beef products for consumers and value-added revenue streams for dairies. And the widespread adoption of genomics among breeders of U.S. registered Holsteins has resulted in better breeding decisions and enhanced ability to identify cattle that are more productive, stay healthier, and have better fitness traits like well-structured feet and legs. A high-producing cow will produce less of the methane, less of the lower carbon footprint um, per unit of dairy product consumed um, than a lower producing animal. And, and, and that's really all tied into that maintenance requirement that every animal has, whether she's a high producer or a low producer. There is no other breed that produces more milk than the Holstein breed on the average. I mean, that's, that's a well-known fact and, and accepted. I think the other thing that makes the Holstein cow very unique is the size of the herd, the national herd of Holsteins. It provides a lot of genetic selection and so that you can produce an animal for any market. Um, you may have a fluid market, you may have a cheese market, and those options are available uh, with the Holstein breed more so than any of the other breeds. The focus is creating that bulletproof cow. So that cow that is trouble free, does not get sick, and it is very productive and very fertile. Ultimately, that cow that is um, very profitable for, for dairy producers. I overwhelmingly see it across many dairy farms where we're ultimately, we have a healthier herd, we have a more fertile herd, we're using less antibiotics, and we have cows producing a higher quantity of uh, fat and protein. The U.S. Registered Holstein, you know, she's the envy of the world, right? Uh, the, the amount of progress we've made that taking that large population and having so many animals on, on test and, and doing a, a, the, the type of evaluations, I mean, they are just phenomenal. And, and uh, going forward, you know, the future looks even brighter.